<laughs> a farm and a restaurant are coming together this Sunday for an intimate six course meal to showcase seasonal ingredients and to give attendees a true farm to table experience. And here in our Studio 41 kitchen with more on this event and to prepare a dish from the menu is Alicia Nesbury Moore and Christian Sia. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you guys for having Thank us. Thank you for having Very us. Very cool <laughs> idea. We always talk about farm to table, but it's usually, you know, we'll just go to a market and get something. Now you guys are actually working together. Tell us how this collaboration came together. Yeah, so um, Urban Produce, of course, is an urban farm on the west side of Chicago. And we're, uh, so we do production farming, but we also have these fun collaborations, right? So the thing about urban farming is that I can never compete with my, my counterparts nope. downstate, right? right? But I have proximity to consumers and chefs. <laughs> and so that's where this collaboration came about. Like, how can we educate folks on seasonal availability? And so I talked with Chef Christian, and that's how the idea came about. Okay. Okay, so Chef, from the Press Room Chicago, and you are ch charged with the task of taking this wonderful produce and coming up with some great dishes. And we were talking in the break, no one knew what this one was. <laughs> well, yeah, we, I wanted to do a, a couple of things for this dinner uh, in particular. Uh, we, at the press room, we are also opening a second concept. So this is kind of like a little soft sneak peek ah, for the dinner as well. I like that. Um, and uh, secondarily, it was also a great way to kind of infuse, I think, the Asian ethos of like, eating seasonally mm -hmm. and um, trying to make that uh, as kind of like, you know, westernized as possible by using Western ingredients, but taking the basis of an Asian salad uh, and to make that uh, forefront. And this is? This is gonna be rojak. Rojak, say okay. that again. I couldn't say rojak. it. Rojak. Rojak, okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, mainly from uh, Malaysia and Singapore. Okay. Uh, it is a salad that was uh, derived from like hard times, especially during World War II. Um, and they use a lot of the products that they could find around the area uh, and tried to make a, you know, kind of like flavorful dressing uh -huh. to kind of mask some of the strong flavors. Ooh. Interesting. So, yeah, the, the salad or Originally would have things like you know fruits and vegetables such as you know pineapple, mango, mm -hmm. uh, and then you have like yam, uh, seasonal yam, mung beans, uh, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, and the dressing itself usually would comprise of tamarind paste and shrimp paste. Ah, yeah. so that's but, a little savory in there too. Yeah. Okay. But the way we did it was uh, we wanted to do a totally vegan version, mm -hmm. so we substituted the shrimp paste for uh, the Japanese style sesame paste. Uh, and then we, instead of using tamarind, uh, we kind of sourced different like soy sauces and we found one that they make here in Kentucky. Oh, okay. um, and yeah, so we used a Kentucky based soy sauce to cook down um, sesame, uh, nice. seaweed. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get started. Here. Yeah. Cool. I, so, at first, I was like a soy sauce from Kentucky, but I guess that's where a lot of soy is grown. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. We're trying to do Illinois it as micro regional. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what did this look like? Cabbage. This is Arrowhead cabbage okay. coming from uh, a farm called Three Sisters Farms in Kankakee. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Three Sisters. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, it's uh, kind of like a native cabbage that grows. It has a conical head shape. Um, not many people really use it, but mm -hmm. it is very popular in especially like uh, the Native American Can side. Can I steal a piece and just see, see how it tastes? Yeah. <laughs> it looks uh, like a thicker uh, leaf. Yeah. Like yeah. it would stand up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. very sweet and funny enough, oh, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when you cut into it sometimes, it, uh, it bleeds water, so like, oh, yeah, as you, as you cut into water. it, yeah, it just like starts to seep out from the leaves. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. I wanted to use this product. Uh, another product we have here is uh, Armenian cucumbers. Okay. Mm. Um, Armenian cucumbers are also known as a desert cucumber. It has a lot of these striations, mm. and it's really popular, obviously, you know, in the the Eastern European community. Uh, we want to use these because, again, they're kind of very sweet mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of mimics uh, almost like pineapple-y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, these are just uh, a little bit of trope onions. Okay. Also, this is coming from Nichols Farms. Mm -hmm. So are the Armenian cucumbers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a little bit of um, Granny Smith apples. Oh, these are actually grown good. from mm -hmm. Nichols Farms as well. Wow. So these are summer apples. So cool. Those look like gooseberries. Are those gooseberries right there? These are, yeah. These are actually <laughs> called ground cherries. Oh. Yeah, the other name is ground cherries. Cape gooseberry is the other name. Um, these are like the younger ones. Um, one. Yeah, we want to use this because it usually has some sort of acidic component to yep. it. Gooseberry is very uh, acidic when you pickle them, 
but uh, we decided to just keep it totally raw. Most and of this. Every good salad has to have some croutons. Alicia, before we even go, because we're running out of time here, yeah. tell us a little bit about urban farms. What type of produce or, or, or vegetables, I should say, do you um, produce yeah. at the farm? Yeah, so as Christian stated, our tagline is eating with the season. So we're all about seasonality and biodiversity and growing things that are native to the Midwest region and also annual crops that you wouldn't necessarily find in uh, in the grocery store. So right, names we, do, names. we do multiple versions of spinach. So like Malabar spinach and Oryx spinach. Okay. All right, so you get this um, complex flavor pairing that you wouldn't necessarily get just by going to the regular restaurant. And chefs love it, mm -hmm. right? They love to have to complex play. dishes. Yes. Play. Play, with play with different with flavor profiles. So that's the fun part about being able to grow on a smaller scale when you're not worried about you know, having to feel the grocery stores. Oh, right. This smells yeah. so good too. I'm dressing smells fantastic. All right, so Urban Produce and the press room are gathering together for the Chicago Farm Dinner. Um, here's where you can find more information about that. That dinner is on Sunday, September 3rd. It's during the Labor Day weekend, so you don't have to worry about staying out late. It starts at 6.30. So from Van Buren, and then you guys are running this program through October, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you missed this one, you can actually come back and join them again. Check it out. Can you also come and buy from your farm? Yeah, so we have a subscription box called the Market Box. So it's seasonal produce that's delivered weekly right to your door. Okay, mm. all right. Wow, is that good? Okay. I like that. Oh, well, we expected it. Yeah, we did. Okay. That's, wow, that dressing is what I form.